I don't know what those are called. Chuck is on his way over. We're going to have the grand bonfire. As you've seen me building the pyre over the last few weeks. And as you know, it's been building since last fall. It's going to be quite a spectacle. The boys are even going to be celebrating with us. Well, they're celebrating by eating grass and leaves and then throwing it up once they get inside the house. They don't, they don't do it outside. They want to wait until they get to a civilized floor. There's another maple I hadn't seen. Right there. Better take that one first or I'll roll over it with the wheelbarrow. A little bit of another rain squall. Four down, two to go. Trees, not squalls. <clears throat> All right, let's resume the festivities, huh? It rained hard, man oh man. All right. Indian paintbrush. The true Indian paintbrush. A lot of people don't know there's a difference between Indian paintbrush and hawkweed. Taproot going down. And I don't think I should take this. Cutting the taproot is killing it. You got to get a smaller one.
Well, I had black dirt in the wheelbarrow. Now I've got black mud. It's always kind of nice to add a little humanity, a human, human frailty to your project. From inside, I could see that the next to the last tree, which is maple, is way too close to this middle one. <laughs> well, not way too, but it's pretty apparent. So if anybody should ask, yeah, I did that on purpose, just to give it a little character. You know, asymm asymmetry. Yeah. Thursday, June 11th, Caleb's birthday by the way, I got to call that guy, I should call him right now, yeah, I'm gonna, off in search of two more trees, there's the, the five that I've already planted, and I want to get two more to sort of complete this row. Another one's going to go right about here and another one right in there. I've got to be very careful I don't get them too close to either the driveway or the house. I'm envisioning in 10, 20 years when they're large trees with long branches and getting full sun like they're going to get. They're going to Grow large oak sections that I cut a few days ago and didn't see them back in there. Now I do have them and I'll take them home and split them up. What a sweet couple of dudes. That's nice. All right. All right. Now we go back and plant them.
Well, it looks like it's one. One, if it had its own way, it would fall right across onto Suki. That was an obvious first tree to take because I, when I found it, oh, dead. No leaves at all, so yeah, that might be burnable by this winter. You gotta see this. Good. Not dead. Haven't seen one of these in 20 years. Somebody just posted one yesterday or the day before on Facebook. She hadn't seen one for that long either. Are they making a comeback? Cecropia. Wow. Okay. I'm going to pack up and leave them alone. How are you doing? It sucks. Yes, it does. Mm. Question to you, Reverend Angel. This sort of tradition that came through and really hosts in <laughs> creating the conditions to sit with the complexity, the discomfort of not knowing to get to that place. We have to unpack those myths, which means that we do have to sit with the complexity we've been sold, right? And the night, yeah. Angel, was so with that. For me, what's been so hard right now is sitting. But if I'm being honest, I don't want to. I'm so tired, especially for black people right now. Kind of what I want to say every day is I'm not doing any more work. I shouldn't have to. Why? And in that, all of my friends that are taking stands right now that haven't taken stands before, they're drawing a line and they're saying black lives matter. Thanks for all that you do. It is two o'clock on Sunday, May 14th, and I want to take a walk down the road to see what flowers are coming along. The daisies are out. I've been watching the stand, these tall clumps. It's before the daisies were actually bloomed and I realized, yeah, remembered the look of the stand. Oh, I'll be darned. Now those aren't daisies. Don't know what those are. We all know what those are. Some sort of species of dandelion. I have to come back out here in a couple more weeks when things really get to be blooming. I don't know what that is. Another one over here. And more. Those ferns. Beautiful. All right, Suki. All of this in here, all the way up to the garage and south of the garage was a wildlife seed mix. Deer and grouse love it. That's what I planted last summer when we had bare earth all the way around the garage and the house and the front. And uh, that's the crop that gave me turnips. And there's a few turnips that have come back this year. I think that's what that is. And that one. There's a few in here. 
but the rest of it is clover wonderfully so looking forward to seeing it all in bloom in a week or two watch the dragonflies out here half an hour ago or so I was sitting man oh man lots and lots of dragonflies well I hauled in some some more oak that I took down yesterday couldn't get it all in the wheelbarrow and I took down another two trees this morning and brought some of it in some less is left out there I'll get on the next trip I'm beginning to wonder what I'm gonna do do with all this wood I've been I've been wanting another woodshed I'm thinking of taking a couple of eight foot four by sixes. They're out on the other side of that woodshed. And laying, just laying those down, I think over here, and putting in some two by fours between them to hold the wood. And it won't have a roof on it. It'll just be a temporary for wood that's gonna be burned two or three winters from now. And what I'm doing right now is is waiting for the well there's a little sh shade moved in here I've been waiting for the sh shade to get more shady before I tackle that I want to do all the wood that I've got s s sectioned up meaning the wheelbarrow full and then go out go back out and get the rest of it I love this view and it's incredible to me how oh, this is filled in the leaves and the ferns down there Jesus how gorgeously it fills in with summer well there they are and I'm a little bit concerned noticing the leaves these two leaves on top of this plant looking a little bit wilty. The maples don't show that. I'm, I'm uh, refusing to stake these things or support them. In the wild they don't have stakes and support and I'm theorizing that being out here in the wind and the full sun they will right themselves that's nature's way of just like the landmark tree over there it righted itself the hell of a lot of weight on that curved trunk down below that's not a bur oak though that's I don't know what a red maybe a, a red oak well, look how healthy those leaves look shiny green full of life and this little sapling coming up alongside it's completely separate anyway that's my hope with these trees out here is that they will grow stout and strong trunks because they have to. They sure as hell are spindly right now. Look at this cute little guy right here with one leaf on it. <laughs>